Hey guys, Tim Woolworth for Runa USA with a quick tip on how to set your FLIR camera up on your Navnet TZ Touch 2. Okay, so you got your FLIR network IP camera installed and ready to use. Let me show you how to set it up. It's a very simple process. We'll start by simply tapping on the home button, tapping settings, and looking for our camera icon towards the bottom. We'll tap that. And I know from installing the camera myself that I connected it to analog camera port one. So I'm gonna turn that on. And one of the things I like to do here as well, the nickname for default is camera one. I like to change it to FLIR. So I'm gonna tap on the keyboard. It'll come up. So what I'll do is I'll just get rid of the current name of camera one and I'm gonna type in FLIR and I'll click my green check mark. I'll come back out to the main menu, scroll down to the bottom, and I'm gonna do a quick FLIR search. So we'll come down here to the controllable camera FLIR installation, and we'll tap on the drop down box. And the very first box you come to is scan IP. We're gonna tap on scan IP. You'll see it run through a quick scan. And as soon as it's complete, it will say FLIR detected. We'll just tap on okay. We'll see a picture of the FLIR come up on the right-hand side of the screen. That means we're connected and ready to go. We'll back out of that screen by clicking the X in the upper right-hand corner. Now I want to go to the camera page. So I'll just scroll across until I find it. Camera's right here. And now as you can see, we have a full screen FLIR picture. From here, we can tap on the screen. And as you can see, we can move the camera anywhere we want it to go. We have complete control by the touch screen. So now your FLIR is set up, ready to go. It's that simple. And now that we've set up your FLIR camera on your Navnet TZ Touch 2, we hope you see how simple that was. If you need more information on this or any other Furuno product, don't forget to go to www.furunousa.com.